Okay, I tried to start it out before. I started to start it earlier, I couldn't do it. So I'm gonna try it like this and we'll see how it goes. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Ascension Presents. So humility, interesting concept. Actually, not just a concept, it's a virtue. Did you know that humility wasn't actually considered a virtue until Jesus' time? And it's actually Jesus, the Word of God, Son of God, he made humility into a virtue. Now, in the ancient world, of course, they had a concept of humility. They knew what it was to, to, um, to be honest. But Christ elevates this. I mean, it's even in St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. He said, Christ, though in the form of God, did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at, but he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave. And he says, and Paul goes on to say, or he says earlier this, you have the same mind as Christ, this mind of humility. Now, we don't necessarily in our modern world understand humility for a number of reasons. One is we misunderstand the definition of humility. We think sometimes, or maybe you don't, but a lot of people around us think that humility is more like self-contempt. You're like, no, 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 have more self-confidence. You need to believe in yourself. Humility is not having contempt for yourself. In fact, self-contempt is a vice, whereas humility is a virtue. Like to, 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 to despise yourself or to uh, think less of yourself than you actually are, that is living a lie. That's believing a lie. And humility, true humility, is living in the truth. Because that's simply what humility is, right? Humility is the willingness to acknowledge, tell, and live the truth of you. What I mean by that is, I acknowledge my weaknesses, I acknowledge my strengths, I acknowledge my failures, I acknowledge my successes. I am aware of the truth. Now here's an interesting thing. The more humble we are, necessarily the more truthful we are. Because humility is going to be an accurate assessment of my gifts, my strengths, my weaknesses, and my wounds. It's going to be very, very important. But this is one of the reasons why um, we don't get humility in our day and age. Because we most often associate um, our strengths, or the, our greatest strength, or our, the source of our dignity in what we do. Right? They just go with me on this. We often associate um, who we are, what we can be proud of about ourselves, with our accomplishments, with our abilities, with uh, our wins. And so we define ourselves by our, those surface gifts, right? We define ourselves by those surface wins, or some people can be tempted to define themselves by their surface wounds or their surface weaknesses. Um, neither of those are accurate. Our wins might be good, our strengths might be good, our gifts might be good, right? But that's not the source of our dignity. That's not the source even of our goodness. This is one of the reasons why the world currently doesn't understand humility. Because, again, humility being a willingness to tell the accurate truth, the most accurate truth about ourselves, is, well then, I look at myself and think, see all the wounds, I see all the failings, I see all where I need people, and I think, well, I think I'm not very good. Christianity says, actually, here's the truth, your goodness comes from God. Your goodness comes from the fact that you've been made in God's, the image and likeness of God, even more so as a Christian. You've been made into a child of God through Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the important thing, your goodness wasn't given to you by any other human being, therefore it cannot be taken away from you by any other human being. That your uh, goodness wasn't earned by anything you did, therefore it can't be lost by anything you do or don't do. That your goodness resides in your identity, the depth of actually who you are as a human being, which is, most principally, someone made in God's image and likeness, someone who's been claimed as God's son or daughter. To root your goodness in anything else makes that goodness fragile. That's why people don't understand humility. Because if, if it, it comes from anything else, just like, well, this is who I am. That's why there's this song in the musical the, Great, the Greatest Showman, which you might like. You might actually love it. I know a lot of people who really, really like it. The song is called This Is Me. Um, it's sung by the uh, bearded woman in the P.T. Barnum's deal. And the whole thing is, you know, this is, I am brave. This is proof. Of, this is who I'm meant to be. This is me. And it's great, this kind of triumphant anthem of like, I may be looked down upon by other people. I'm okay with that because I am me and who I am is enough. There's a line that says, you know, we are glorious. And I say, yeah, it's, okay. I agree with that. But I'm going to ask you the question, where does that glory come from? Just because like you happen to exist? Without God, you're simply a, I mean, no offense, but you're just a collection of 
cells, just a collection of molecules, just a collection of atoms and subatomic particles. And that's not very glorious, regardless of whether you're P.T. Barnum who runs the whole thing or the person who sweeps up, you know, picks up the droppings of the elephants. Why are you glorious? That's my question. Why are you glorious? Where does that come from? Number two, she says, uh, there, I know that I deserve your love. There's nothing I'm not worthy of. Like, oh, really? Oh, why? Again, why? Where does that come from? Because like, you're you. Nice. That's really, really nice. Without God, you being you is again just a cosmic accident. But you being you, having been made in the image and likeness of God, means, oh, you're not simply a cosmic accident. You've been created on purpose, for a purpose, for glory, to be able to give him glory forever. So again, deserve your love, or you know, worth your love, nothing I don't, I'm not deserving of. Well, not just as a collection of atoms, maybe as a son or daughter of God. See, here's the problem, is when our world eliminates God from the equation, then all of our goodness rests on essentially nothing. It rests on, well, did I do good things or did I do bad things? If I did good things, I'm good. If I did bad things, I'm bad. But we all know ourselves. We know that there are some good things people see. There's a lot of bad things people don't see. So people might say, you're good. And you know deep down, oh, but I don't, I'm not. I choose bad things. But if your goodness, if your dignity doesn't come from what you've done, but comes from what you are, made in God's image, a child of God, then again, that can't be lost because it doesn't come from anything you've done. And it can't be taken because it didn't come from anyone. It's only then that we can be truly humble. Here's the last thing. I think our crisis in, in humility as well comes from um, two things as well. I think it comes from an overestimation of ourselves and an over preoccupation with ourselves. Overestimation of ourselves is like, I mean, the truth of the matter is no one on this planet is who they could have been. Like no one, no matter, even like Bill Gates, even people who've accomplished great things, no one on this planet has actually used all of the gifts that they've been given to the maximum benefit of humanity or even of themselves. We have this overestimation of, I did one thing with my gift, well done. But we have this overestimation of ourselves and an over preoccupation with ourselves. How am I doing? How am I doing? How am I doing? That's why I love C.S. Lewis, my buddy Jack. Jack says, humility is not thinking less of yourself. Again, it's not that self-contempt. Humility is not thinking less of yourselves. It's thinking of yourself less. <laughs> it's like not putting yourself in the center of the universe or even the center of your own private universe. It's recognizing there is God who's better than me, God who's bigger than me, other people who are better than me. And uh, that's okay because he made me. He knows me. He loves me. And that's all I need. That's the truth. I'm going to move forward. That's, in some ways, real humility. Anyways, I hope that made sense. If it didn't, well, I'll re-record re -record the video then. For all of us here at Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.